to early 2025, I think the 1st of January 2025 is the date when central banks will be able to hold Hello everyone, today our guest is popular YouTuber, crypto analyst and trader, Guy Turner, who in this video says that the most recent crypto Bitcoin crash was a coordinated and planned attack to sabotage the progress of the industry. He also talks about the current Bitcoin price momentum and suggests the most probable scenario in the near term. If you enjoy this highlight videos, please kindly subscribe and help share this video for us to share more of this valuable content. Thank you. Bitcoin BTC dollar 26,920 is poised to claim the cryptocurrency thrown by the end of 2023, as its superiority is going to be clear in every aspect, according to Fadi CEO. During the Bitcoin 2023 event in Miami, Cointelegraph reporter Joe Hall interviewed Obin Wosu, the CEO and co-founder of Fadi which is a Bitcoin community custody protocol offering an alternative solution for those who lack access to or don't trust centralized exchanges. Nmosu emphasized during the interview that it is becoming increasingly hard to deny that Bitcoin has the fastest, cheapest, easiest, most decentralized and secure ecosystem. He anticipates this will become even more apparent by the end of the year. He noted, it is going to be clear by the end of this year that it's going to be tick, tick, tick for Bitcoin. It's been a, an interesting sort of few months, hasn't it? I don't think uh, I don't think many people were were expecting it to kind of go the way it has. It seems to have got, dare I say, it, a little bit boring at the moment. Certainly, the last few weeks. I think, I think one thing that's had a, a really kind of big effect on the market, and I, I noticed this especially at weekends, is the shutdown of things like Silvergate, um, its uh, its Sen and um, uh, the um, Silicon Valley Bank as well. I, I, I think the I think the the attack on the crypto sort of banking sector has really kind of made things more difficult. It seems to be, from what I'm hearing, a lot harder, especially for institutions. Uh, to get money into and out of the market. So I think that's sucked a lot of liquidity out. And I think that's a big reason why we've kind of seen a lot of this sideways price action over the last few weeks. So I think that's had a I think that's had a big impact. And I I guess I guess that was very much the plan um, from uh, from the powers that be on uh, on your side of the pond. So so there's that. And I I think that's a big contributor to the sort of slightly kind of flat price action we're seeing at the moment. And then, I mean, obviously, there are just so many things to think about at the moment, aren't there? I mean, interest rates, uh, that old uh, that old chestnut, that see those, I mean, let's face it, I think most people now believe that the Fed are going to pause. So, uh, and probably just keep rates there for the next few months, at least, obviously, depending on the data. I would say... Don't rule out uh, the possibility of another hike. Uh, the next meeting, I think, is either the third. I think the next meeting is on the 14th of June. And the day before it is when the next uh, CPI print comes out. So the CPI for May will come out on the 13th of June. Fed meeting the following day. That could be really, really interesting, I think. Um, so that's going to be a big one. So like I say, I, I haven't entirely ruled out the possibility of another rate hike. I'm not sure uh, the market would would particularly enjoy that. So yeah, there's just there's just a lot to think about at the moment. And that's before we get to things like uh, the debt ceiling crisis, um, the SEC, obviously, that's kind of simmered down a little bit, everything going on there. But I mean, that's still happening. The SEC is still on the warpath. Uh, there are still things like CBDCs being worked on to uh, to worry about as well. And there's you know a recession that everybody seems to think is due any day now, but kind of doesn't hasn't quite manifested itself. So yeah, this is a this is a fascinating time for crypto really, um, because you know especially with a high rates environment and and a and a recession coming, this is this is uncharted territory for the market. So. Is, is this a, how much weight do you put into this was a coordinated attack to take down crypto, at least choke out those liquidity points? What are your thoughts? 
It certainly looked like it to me. I know I know a lot of people have been sort of attempted to kind of dismiss this as as, as something of a conspiracy theory of the crypto industry sort of uh, feeling sorry for itself. I don't believe that. I think this was a coordinated attack. I think uh, with the with the effort, why why go to all the effort? of drafting sensible regulation, which has been beyond US authorities for years now. Why go to all that effort when you can resurrect an old policy that worked quite well back in the, I think it was the Obama era when choke point one was deployed against you know things like gambling and payday loans and firearms companies and all that sort of stuff. Why not resurrect that and uh, and do thing do it that way? And like I say, it seems to have worked pretty well. You know, it's it's this idea of uh, of just cutting off cutting off access to banking services. They know, unfortunately, that crypto industry needs banking as much as any other industry at the moment. So it seems to have been pretty effective. Like I say, how <clears throat> how are you playing this? Is is the move just to focus on Bitcoin and ETH because those are the most stable, the most uh, the biggest out of the cryptos? or stay out of it at all and just watch and wait? Staying, I'm, I'm staying on the sidelines at the moment, Austin. I don't really, I mean, I don't, I don't know. You know, I've got, I've got theories on which way, uh, on which way the market is going to go. I'm still in the short term kind of fairly bearish. So I'm happy to just kind of sit on the sidelines, watch this play out, uh, keep my, keep my powder dry. Um, because yeah i think it's just i think it's just so difficult to know exactly you know exactly what we're going to see play out over the coming months so i'm kind of yeah just, i i it it helps for me because it make it, it means i can be a bit of a more sort of I, I feel like a bit of a more neutral observer the biggest bullish narrative that we still have despite all the bearish macro is bitcoin having next year usually the price you know, kind of hits a, a bull market about 12 months after, eight to 12 months after. Do you see a, a front running coming? Do you think it'll have the same effect? Uh, how bullish is the, the how bullish is the Bitcoin having? I think certainly it uh, it fits nicely into the into the into the market cycle that crypto has been in for you know for most of its existence now. So I think that narrative enough will be you know will help to will help to drive more speculation will help to drive some positive price action but i think so much depends uh, when's the uh, the halving is uh, april next year i think so we've got about sort of six or well we've got about six or seven months left of this year and i think what i would be hoping to see what would make me a lot more a lot more positive about uh, you know about what we see in you know in, in april and before is if we start to really see inflation get uh, get hammered by those but by those high rates in the states i think you know they'll have to keep them high for quite some time i think a pause is most you know is is almost certainly on the cards at some point some people think we'll see a cut uh, obviously that depends on whether the fed you know manages to break anything in the economy which is perfectly possible so what i'll be looking out for is a generally kind of more positive sentiment uh, about the markets as we come towards the end of the year. I'm not expecting to see things sort of miraculously better, but I would hope that inflation is is really sort of under control and firmly on its way down by the end of the year. There's talk about cutting rates. Obviously, a rate cut uh, doesn't necessarily mean that the market is go up. Uh, some, you know, quite often, a rate cut means that something has broken in the system. So, just having uh, rates go lower isn't necessarily going to uh, going to supercharge the market. But I would be hoping to see some green shoots and some all round sort of better, greater positivity about not just crypto, but I think the the whole economic picture in general. And I guess some clarity on whether or not we're going to see a recession in the United States and and elsewhere. The UK, for instance, just sort of nar really narrowly avoided a recession by the skin of its teeth. But, um, you know, the, the, the possibility is still there. So I think some clarity on that, you know, in, in uh, markets love certainty, don't they? So I think if we uh, if we know where we stand, I think that could be helpful as well. 
I'm going to ask you a fun question because this is just your best guess. Nobody really knows, but what year do you see Bitcoin surpassing all-time highs? So crossing that 69K. Would it be, in, do you think 2024, end of it, later? I would say 2025 because I think we'll see, obviously we'll see the halving in uh, in early 2024. That should, uh, as long as we stick to the cycle, that should mean uh, that the price kind of gradually climbs over that over the rest of that year. To early 2025, I think the 1st of January 2025 is the date when central banks will be able to hold Bitcoin, uh, will be able to hold crypto on their balance sheets. They'll be able to hold up to 2% of their reserves in crypto that i think could be you know that could be a huge catalyst so i would say i i don't think 2024 2025 is is when i think we could see all-time highs again realistically there is a misconception that there is a functional or scaling limitation with bitcoin but the reality is developments are happening incredibly fast mosu said adding that there is a focus on creating solutions that are correct the first time if you enjoy this highlight videos, please kindly subscribe and help share this video for us to share more of this valuable content. Thank you.